I'm Kia Ling from Mandai Wildlife Group. Welcome to River Wonders, where you can get up close with our amazing freshwater animals and connect with nature. Amazon Flooded Forest in River Wonders is a place where you and your children can discover interesting aquatic animals living in rivers and flooded forests. Many land animals also live near these freshwater habitats and depend on them to survive. I will be introducing three activity ideas that you can conduct on your own during a learning journey to Amazon Flooded Forest. These activities are ideal for your children to expand their vocabulary by adding adjectives and verbs and practice critical thinking skills as they observe the movements of animals. You should allow at least 45 minutes to complete all the suggested activities in Amazon Flooded Forest. From the entrance of River Wonders, Take a right turn and walk along the sheltered walkway to Amazon Flooded Forest. The stroll should take around 10 minutes. Every year, a large amount of rainfall causes the Amazon River to overflow and flood the surrounding forests. This special forest is covered with over 10 meters of water for about 6 months. Imagine the forest turning into a big watery playground for many fishes and other animals that live there. Amazon Flooded Forest is one such watery playground. Here, you will find floor-to-ceiling exhibits which allow children to get up close to observe aquatic animals such as manatees, arapaimas and giant river otters. I am standing here at the entrance of Amazon Flooded Forest. Before you head inside, gather your children here and help them understand the three essential agreements, otherwise known as child behaviour guidelines. Here's what you can say to the children. Say it like I do. To see animals well, we need to do three things. One, we need to use our walking feet and stay together. Two, we need to keep our hands to ourselves, especially when viewing the animals. Remember, that knocking on glass tanks will startle or scare the animals. 3. We need to use our soft voices. Activity 1. Word Game at Giant River Otters To improve the observation and language skills of your children, start Activity 1 by playing this word game using two categories, water and land. Gather your group in front of the Giant River Otter exhibit and prompt your children to think of words associated with water like river, swim, flood, rain, stream, and so on. Say it like I do! When I say the word water, what other words do you think of? Let me give you one clue. Wet. Now, it's your turn. And when I say the word land, what other words do you think of? Let me give you one clue. Sin. Now, it's your turn. Stay where you are and continue to prompt your children to think of words associated with land. Like logs, mud, pebbles, trees, plants and so on. After that, you can get your children to stop observing the giant river otter's habitat and to start observing the animals. Giant river otters are the underwater gymnasts of the rivers. They are playful and spend a lot of time in the water. They are excellent swimmers and have wet feet to help them glide through the water. They do spend some time on land, especially when raising their pups in burrows. They live in groups, just like we have our families. They are very social and communicate with one another using squeaks and chirps. Spend at least one minute silently observing the giant river otter before proceeding to play a new word challenge. Invite your class to list at least 10 words that come to mind when they look at the otters. For example, brown, swimming, playful, active, furry and noisy. You can conclude this activity and move along the path to see the manatees. As you make your way down, you will notice that it gets a bit darker. Remind your children to keep close to you. You will pass by two viewing windows where you can get a glimpse of some of the animals living here. Continue down the ramp to reach the lower deck of the manatee tank to conduct the activity. 
get your children seated at this spot. Activity 2. Manatee and Friends It can get overwhelming for your children to see so many animals at once in this mixed species exhibit. Encourage them to focus by drawing their attention to the bigger species in the tank. Start your see, think, wonder thinking routine here. Say it like I do! Can you see the big animals here? Those are manatees. Manatees are mammals that live in water. Which body part do you think helps a manatee swim? I wonder how long they can hold their breath. Notice that manatees have flippers and paddle-shaped tails that help them swim. They like to stay in warm waters, like rivers, springs and along the coasts. Highlight how the manatees move slowly and they graze on plants and rivers in the wild. You can also apply the See Think Wonder thinking routine on the other animals in this tank. For example, you can observe the Arapaima, a giant fish. They live in rivers and are enormous and long. Say it like I do! Name the body parts of the Arapaima. Arapaimas are fishes that have a large body, fins and tail. Which body part do you think helps the Arapaima swim? I wonder if they move the same way as the manatees. Invite the class to discuss more ways that the manatee and Arapaima are similar and different. You can do this similar different game with any fish or other animals you see. Conclude this activity and continue your journey through the Amazon flooded forest this way. As you continue your journey, you will find other freshwater fishes that come in all shapes and sizes. Look out for schooling fishes, aquatic frogs and the electric eel. Keep your children focused through movement activities as you move from tank to tank. This will also help in managing the children as you explore the dimly lit space. Activity 3. I Spy Riddles In this next activity, you are going to stretch your little one's observation skills. These riddles are fun guessing games that encourage observation to identify the animal. Say it like I do! The next animal we are going to find swims in the water but it is not a fish. When it was young, it didn't look like this. Let's swim to find the next animal. At the exhibit, get the children to observe how the Titicaca water frog moves and to mimic its movement. The Titicaca water frog is quite distinctive in appearance. It has a plump, rounded body with loose, wrinkled skin that resembles a saggy pouch. Its skin can range in colour from brown to olive green, helping it blend in with its rocky underwater habitat. Here's another riddle to move to the next exhibit. I have small eyes and an interesting way of swimming. When I find food, I give it a shock. Who am I? At the exhibit, get the children to observe how the electric eel moves and to mimic its movements. Is the movement different from that of the Titicaca water frogs? What's special about the electric eel is that they can produce electricity. This helps them to shock and catch their food or to protect themselves. To finish off your experience at this zone, invite your class to think of which animal they like the most in Amazon flooded forests. Encourage them to move like that animal on their way out of the exhibit. You can click the link below which leads to our website that lists the animals in this zone. Don't forget to also check out the tip sheet for this video.